So Sun Sama is an app that has changed my life. I've been using it for almost a year and a half. I've been paying for it out of pocket and the videos I've made on it in the past have done really well, meaning lots of you have signed up for at least a free trial. And special thanks to Sensama for sponsoring today's video, but honestly, I love the software and I use it every single day and it really just helps me to get a grip on everything going on in my life. So if you don't know what Sensama is, it's kind of like a narrow look at your schedule, your tasks, your calendar. You basically plan a week and then you plan your daily tasks and you can see how those fit within your calendar. So it's just a really good way of understanding a few things, which we'll dive into here in a second. Sansama is just a really great way of understanding what you have to do and the time you have to do it in. So we're going to dive into that briefly today. I'm going to focus on a few specific things in today's video. If you want, you can watch previous videos up here where I go over more of a generalized view of Sansama. I just want to share sort of how it's changed my life. So first and foremost, as we always do on this channel, let's talk about the form, meaning like the UI, the experience of using this. So it's beautifully and simply designed. I have always really loved how well it just works. Most of your tasks are in this sort of Kanban kind of board. If I go to the home screen here, you can see how this works. I have all my tasks here. I can move them to another day if I want to. It's a little bit overwhelming, but there's ways you can just focus on today or you can even do like focus modes. There I can see my today view as well as my weekly goals, my weekly objectives. So your home screen is pretty much everything. You can see your calendar on here. You can see even mail if you need to pull in tasks from there, your weekly objectives, archives, things like that. I've never had any issues with this. I think the, the biggest problem I've had with like the design here is probably more of like along the lines of functionality where sometimes I'll get logged out, but it's like once every couple of months maybe, and it might be more on like the Google side of things than the actual software here. Not a big deal, I just signed back in. Everything else just works perfectly. There's a phone app, it works perfectly. The design here is solid. It's never gonna crap out on you or anything like that. But let's hop into the function of this software. Obviously that's the meat and potatoes. And today I wanted to talk about a few things because I'm at this interesting intersection in my life. Personally, I need to switch up some things in Sunsama. So one of the coolest things that I think is if I come in here and I click on business cards and it's one of my tasks, I can look at this up here, these tags. Now I'm a huge fan of the book, Do More Better by Tim Challies. I've talked about it loads of times throughout my life and content that I've created. I'll put it down in the description if you want to pick it up. Short read, cheap book, get it on Amazon. The biggest thing there is that everything has a place that it needs to go in your life. So whether it's events or tasks or information, they need to go in a certain place. Here would be tasks, right? Now, within those three things, you have different priorities in your life. So I've defined my priorities as faith, family, social, work, and personal. So I've broken down my tags in Sansama as that. Now, I recently left my full-time job and now I'm doing YouTube full-time. I love it. But when I was juggling both those jobs under work, as you can see, I had two things, Leisure Media and SSP. So if I go and look at my weekly review, which is basically last week, this is one of the coolest features. You can see how you spent your time during those days. Now, previously at my nine to five job, I had, I'd gone down to 10 hours a week. I was working Tuesday and Wednesday. So you can see on this little graph here, orange was my old job. On Tuesday and Wednesday, I was working. The rest are work. There's some personal stuff in here, lots of SSP stuff, but it breaks that down for you. And you can see that on sort of a weekly level where you spent your time last week, which I think is fantastic. And how how does it know how much time you spent? You're asking, well, it kind of breaks it up with the pie chart there, but as you come in here and you know, we looked back at last week, we wrapped it up. Now we're in our weekly planning. What did we get done last week? What didn't we? You hit the next button. You can hit done there. Now my week is planned, right? And then I can go into my daily planning. So this is a really cool thing. So you can see what you want to get done today. If you see the daily shutdown, it'll show you what you worked on, what you didn't work on. You can still see that pie chart as well, which is pretty neat. It will summarize it and put it in this written. It's not going to really show up perfectly here because the day is not over yet. But if I go into daily planning, so after you do your daily shutdown from the day before, 
It's early morning, I come into the office, I see this, I'm able to see what I wanna get done today. So right here, I just start adding tasks that maybe I've thought of this morning, or you can see what my weekly objectives are. So then I'm like, okay, well, I need to write more scripts. So today I'm going to write more scripts. One of my favorite things about Sun Summit is everything can be done from the keyboard. You don't even need to use the mouse because when you're typing, typing, and then you're having to go like this, and then typing, typing, and having to go like this, it's like first world problem, but like to be able to just do everything on your keyboard, your hands stay there, you go through all of the tasks you can think of. So you can just say, boom, this will be SSP, and I'll do a little tilde thing, and I'll say this is gonna take me about 30 minutes. So now I know writing these scripts will take 30 minutes. I hit enter, it adds it to my calendar. So that's how you start to realize, and you can see these little boxes here, how long things are gonna take you, which is super neat. And also Sunsamo will learn over time. Like if I write, write more scripts every week, it will start to pick up on, and it will suggest 30 minutes because it knows that's how long it usually takes. So after I write down like everything I want, I would love to get done today, I can hit this next button. And what it will do here is fantastic. And this is another place I I think Sunsama shines, not only in breaking up your workload into your life's priorities, but also understanding how long those things are gonna take. So it's asking me what can wait because it's seeing that right now with everything I have planned here, it's gonna take me about seven hours and it's 1.13. So it's saying the earliest you're gonna be able to shut your computer and be done with these tasks is 8.15 tonight, right? And a lot of these I just haven't checked off for the day, so that's on me. But I also wanted to kind of show this example you know, it's 8 a.m. You get into office and you think like, I got to get so much done today. Or maybe your boss is like, hey, you have to do all these extra things. And you can come here and be like, I literally don't have time in my day to do the extra things you've asked me to do unless I move some things over that I'm currently working on my projects or I don't go pick up the cake for my daughter for her birthday, right? Like it gives you a really good view of that. And then I can start to say, well, let's take these 30 minutes. I'll, I'll move that over to tomorrow. Let's fix my tags in Sansama tomorrow. Let's, you know, that's just a book that I wanted to read. Let's move that over there. I wanted to film this, but I don't have time. So then you can start to see, okay, now I'm finishing up at 6.40 p.m., right? And I, I told you it's 1.14 p.m. right now. And you can also plan your shutdown time where it will actually, I usually do 15 minutes before I need to leave the studio. So I usually leave around four. I have mine planned for 3.45 and you can change that. You can also add it so you can see I have it here at 345 today. And what will happen is when that task comes up, it'll launch you into your daily shutdown, which is here. You get that view of what you spent time on today, working on and all that kind of stuff. So, so once you have your tasks here, like I said, you've come here, you've moved some stuff around. Maybe you've delegated a task to someone else. You can remove it from your list. Maybe you've moved it to next week because you don't need to do it right now. You can hit the next button and then it'll show you your day. And now, something that's cool is I could sit here and just hit the X button and it will start to line up my tasks just one after the other. And you can already see like, if I just do two more tasks, I'm gonna be done for the day. But you can either do that and let it's sort of AI-ish system put stuff on your calendar or you can click and drag and put them on here. And as you can see, based on how much time you've told Sansama it will take you to do this task, it will show that amount of time blocked off on your calendar. You know, as I'm putting stuff on here, that's gonna take a lot of time. You can really get a visual for what your day is gonna look like. And as you check things off, it will actually move your tasks up. So if you're ahead of schedule and you're checking things, wow, I thought this was gonna take me 30 minutes, took me five minutes. I thought this was gonna take me 15 minutes, took me five minutes. It will bump your tasks up. And technically, if you're really like a planned person, you're using Sunsama, you can be done with your day like quite a bit ahead of time than you thought you could be. You can either start on tasks that you're gonna do tomorrow or call it a day. That's that's less my flavor, but what I would like to be my flavor of work. <laughs> so that's the big thing with Sunsama, I think. Categorizing the priorities in your life, understanding how long tasks will take you, and then visually getting an idea of what your day will be made up of because of those tasks that you're planning. I've worked with a company called Finisher Secrets a lot, which makes journals and I've learned so much about like productivity tips and time boxing is such a big thing. If you visually see that you're going to be working on something for like an hour, you're more likely to do it. And I need to throw this in here too, because if I come home and then I hit focus, 
You can either do just like hit start, you see the one task that you're supposed to be doing right now, and then when you're done, you click the check mark, you move on to the next one. Another thing you can do is Pomodoro timer, which is one of my favorite things to do when I have like a really big project, is it's 25 minutes of working, then a five minute break, then 25 minutes of working, then a five minute break, until you finish the task, you hit the check mark, you move to the next task. So there's a couple like ways of obviously pulling back a bit and seeing your whole week and what it looks like. You can see your whole day and what it looks like, and then you can dive in specifically to those tasks and get them checked off. I have found this to be so effective, and I personally have experienced that feeling of sitting down on a whole morning, like four hours of work that I have planned out here, and then doing like the Pomodoro method and getting it done in like an hour. Because there's just, it's such a focused environment. And usually I would be halfway through working on something and then I would check email or I would like go to the bathroom and then be like, ah, I can get some water, maybe I'll get a coffee. And this just allows you to focus in that setting. So I'm gushing about Sansama and sponsored or not, I love this app and I tell all my friends about it. If you wanna pick it up for yourself, you can check the link in the description. You'll get a free 30 day trial usually I think it's 14 or 15 days. It does cost monthly and I think it's about $20 a month, which is pretty expensive for an app, but from someone who happily pays that and would probably pay more because of how much I love this, I think it's worth it. That's it. That's how Sunsama has changed my life and how I continue to use it daily. I think it's fantastic. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Test it out. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. On this channel, we talk about tech that marries form and function. We like tech that both improves our lives and looks good while doing so. So if that sounds cool to you, please subscribe, like this video for more, watch this video next. I think you're going to love it and we'll see you all in the next one.